Hello, welcome back. Uh, our second lesson for today is a math lesson, okay? So yesterday you learned all about number seven, yeah? So today we're just going to move on, do another number, okay? And at the end of this video, I have a little surprise for you, okay? A special video that you can watch and relax at home once you're done with all your tasks, okay? So I'm gonna take one of these magnets, put it who, where we were yesterday. So yesterday we did number seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? Here we are at seven. Today we're going to make another hop, a new hop, and we're landing on number eight. So today we're learning all about number eight eight okay i'm going to write it here okay guys so remember today as well you are supposed to practice uh, tracing letters and it's very important that you use as many colors as possible for number eight because number eight is sometimes a little bit tricky to write it's a very curvy um number Okay, those lines can be a bit tricky to write. Okay, so I really need you to use all your colors when tracing this number. So just to make sure you know what I'm talking about, um, I am talking about this. Okay, so number eight, here it is. Please trace it many, many, many times. It can be very tricky to write. Okay, so it's a bit tricky to to write the digit, the numeral. And what's even trickier is writing the word. <laughs> the word looks nothing like what it sounds. Looks nothing, yeah. So I'm just gonna write it. E, I, G, T, eight. Yes, this is how you write uh, the word eight. It is very, very tricky. I agree. Okay, so next thing we need to do is to figure out what it looks like, okay? So today I'm going to try something new. I'm immediately going to fill in the five frame. Okay, why did I do that? Because I want to try today, instead of counting from one to eight while drawing in the, um, the chips, uh, today I'm going to start counting from five, okay? So not from one, but from five. So I already have five here. Next is six, seven, eight, okay? So this is what number eight looks like on 10 frame. You have only two free frames left uh, until you fill out 10 frame completely. So once you're at number eight, only two left, okay? Now I'm going to do the same thing, counting from five for tallying. So I'm immediately going to do number five. Okay, remember this bunch is number five. And I continue with six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is what it looks like for tallying. Now I'm going to leave one of these, um, no, well, actually I'm going to put this magnet back. Here I have a little magnet party if you will uh so what we need to do here out of these i need to count eight magnets okay so first i'm going to count them one by one one two three four five six seven eight okay so here are the eight magnets. I have two left because in total, eight plus two, I have 10 magnets, okay? In total, I have 10 magnets. So these are eight counted by one. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to count in twos, okay? This is called skip counting. You don't say every number. Okay, so two, let's do, of same colors. How about that? Two, four, six, and eight. Okay? So I still have two left, and here I have two, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? 
These are eight things. Uh, in your notebooks, um, or if you have these worksheets, if you want, you can draw, you can draw circles um, in the shape of my magnets, or if you want, you can draw hearts, stars, um, whatever you feel like drawing, butterflies, it's all okay. Okay, and I'm putting number eight here on the number line. Here is the digit. We need to figure out the number before and the number after it. Okay, so here's my marker. So it's very easy now to, when you think about it, the number before is the number that we learned yesterday. So we're just going to make one hop back from eight. And where do we land? At number seven. So NB, number, number before is seven. Remember, you can write seven with or without this line as you wish. Um, we go back from seven to eight. Okay, and now we're going to make a hop forward. And where did we land? We landed at number nine, okay? So number after number eight is number nine, and that's like a little sneak peek. Now I think you have an idea what we might be doing tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so let me just repeat. The number we're learning today is eight. This is how you write it. This is one of those tricky words that we will have to remember to recognize it when we see it. When you write it in a tenth frame, you only have these two spaces left, okay? When you tally, you do this one bunch and three more lines, okay? Count, draw eight things to represent it, okay? And use number line to help you figure out the number before and number after, okay? Now let's see how about your fingers. So I'm going to start our fishing song and I'm going to stop when I get to eight, okay? Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight. So I have eight fingers here that you can see. Now let's go from eight and count down, okay? From eight to zero, eight. Oh, I need you to put your fingers like this, by the way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one finger left and zero fingers left. Okay, please write this down in your notebooks. And then when you're done with that, in the next video, we are going to be writing down number sentences and we're going to be using these alpacas to help us. Okay, see you in a minute.